This episode of D News is brought to you by Ting, mobile that makes sense. The sea stars are dying off and turning into goo. What kind of nightmare planet do we live on? <laughs> Hey everyone, Lacey Green here for D News. One of my first experiences that I can remember with the ocean involved a huge wall of sea stars. Guys, it was magical. So it's slightly traumatizing to hear that some kind of plague is sweeping the sea star population. Last November, scientists up in the Vancouver and Seattle region started noticing something really strange. Hundreds of sea stars had their limbs detached and their bodies turned to goo. Now at this point in their investigation, the scientists think it's a pathogen that debilitates their immune systems. The limbs dissolve off and fall away while the infection just disintegrates the rest of the poor animal. Since November, the disease has spread down the coast as far south as Mexico, and they've even seen it in Maine and New Jersey. In some populations, up to 95% of the sea stars have died off. So we've seen illnesses like this before, and it's all turned out okay, but this time it's particularly alarming because of the sheer number of animals that are dying. Plus, it's been almost a year and, well, they still don't know what exactly the disease is or how it's happening. The fact that it's on two separate coasts with no connection to each other is strange. How the heck is this thing spreading? It's also concerning because sea stars are the top predators in their ecosystem. They're the keystone, the backbone, the star of the tide pool show. Without them, or without an adequate population of them, the balance of the tide pools could change in a few key ways. For one, sea stars feed on mussels, so without any threat, we could see a massive mussel takeover. Which, to be honest, my stomach probably wouldn't mind. I might be able to handle those excess mussels single-handedly. But on a more serious note, slugs. Sea stars also eat sea slugs, or more specifically, slug larvae. So without any population control, those could also take over. These critters all play a role in maintaining the chain of command in the ecosystem. They regulate the availability of nutrients for other animals and aerate the sediment. It's probably not the end of the world as we know it, but hey, it is significant. The fact that multiple species of animals are dying off without explanation is kind of a big deal, especially given what we know about humans' contribution to polluting our oceans. In recent years, we're responsible for all kinds of toxins that wreak unknowable havoc on marine life. But hey, we can't be sure that there's a connection there quite yet. Thanks for joining me for D News, everyone. We'll be back soon with more science updates.